One of the most destructive forces in nature with emotion so violent its intensity is rated by how much damage it causes. A tornado is a rapidly rotating column of air that forms during a thunderstorm when cold, dry air becomes intertwined with warm, humid air. Warm air rises due to it being less dense than cold air, and this creates an updraft. This motion causes the wind to start changing direction, and as it picks up speed, begins to form a funnel. Once the funnel reaches the ground, it's called a touchdown, or you might hear the words, a tornado is on the ground. Tornadoes can come in all shapes and sizes. The widest tornado occurred in the early evening hours of May 31st, 2013 in El Reno, Oklahoma. It measured 2.6 miles wide. Weather radars clocked winds at 295 miles per hour within the vortex. It injured 151 people and killed eight, including famous storm chasers Tim and Paul Samsaris, his son, and Carl Young. It was rated an EF3 on the Enhanced Fujita Scale. The Vegeta scale was created by Ted Vegeta in 1971, however, has become obsolete due to the enhanced Vegeta scale. There are seven categories. EFU means damage is unknown. An EF0 measures winds at 65 to 85 miles per hour and refers to a tornado causing light damage. An EF1 has winds of 86 to 110 miles per hour with moderate damage. Winds measuring at 111 to 135 miles per hour has considerate damage and is rated an EF2. EF3 tornadoes are severe with winds at 136 to 165 miles per hour. EF4 is devastating with winds clocking at 166 miles per hour to 200 and winds reaching over 200 miles per hour with incredible damage is rated an EF5. The deadliest tornado recorded in history occurred March 18, 1925, infamously dubbed the Tri-State Tornado, and managed to travel 243 miles across Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana at 60 to 73 miles per hour. It lasted three and a half hours and took the lives of 695 people. Tornadoes have been observed and documented on every continent except Antarctica. Most tornadoes occur in the United States in an area called Tornado Alley, which runs through Texas, some parts of New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and North Dakota, and parts of Colorado. The city with the most tornadoes is Oklahoma City. Tornadoes can occur at any time of the day, but tend to be the most deadly at night when people are asleep. The added danger is the inability to see the funnel. Because tornadoes occur during thunderstorms, at times they can be shrouded in rain. A great warning that a tornado is approaching are the sounds witnesses have reported. Approaching freight train, rushing rapids, or waterfalls. However, it may be inaudible from a distance. Some signs that one may be near is a sudden change in the color of the sky. A greenish tint seems to be the most common color. Some people have mentioned the quiet before the storm, so beware of an eerie silence. Lastly, an approaching cloud of debris. Tornadoes are so strong that they can uproot trees and hurl things through the air. It is not a good idea to be in the way of trajectories. Storm chasers are trained in the movement of tornadoes. Its cyclical movement, when viewed from above, rotates counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. If a tornado looks like it's standing still, it's moving towards you. Nothing can stop a tornado. The only thing you can do is move out of its path.